individual who was actually taken off suffering from hypothermia when he was uh, refereeing a game brought out against Montrose, second round of the Scottish Cup way back in 83. Poor man had to uh, have medical treatment for a full two months before he, he really shrugged it off on a day that might give him similar thoughts. Good thing about Capital though is that the pitch is entirely transformed. It used to be a pitch of a terrible reputation. You sneezed on it and then you had a lagoon. But uh, they got experts in who confounded that old theory that the high tide and the River Clyde and the other side of the street, as it were, affected the pitch. It was simply clogged drains and now it's one of the best in the country. Sullivan of course quite clearly the rain has killed the crowd I was talking to Tom Robertson the modern secretary who almost a tear in his eye looking at the rain saying we'd have double the gate on a better day and it's very unfortunate for a club living on a shoestring as it were off the back of the head oh beautifully kept in there it was Willie Pettigrew who worked well the flag was a bit slow going up and in fact I wasn't so sure if that was offside well clinging couldn't really bring it down well game rather bogged down at the moment I think the conditions are so bad that the players are finding it uh, it's got a while to adapt to all this. I mean, it really is, it, it's monsoon at the moment. I'm a cloud special, methinks. Yes! Whoa. Johnson! Mo well, Johnson, second goal for Celtic. And that is 1-0 with nine minutes gone. And that is why he's such a valuable player. I mean, he wasn't going to let the goalkeeper settle at all. Although he had brought it down, very difficult for a goalkeeper under these conditions. And he was in it, razor sharp, slotting it home. Swept away by Dom Sullivan, playing against his old club. The break by Reed. Lot of a cloud. Last time I saw him, he was in the left-back position. The last game. Good run by Reid. Desmond to McLeod. He tries to place it. That was brilliant to say. I do you recall that great goal he had against the United. Now, that was a, an entirely different effort. There, he tried to swerve it. Rather deceiving the goalkeeper, who certainly was the match of it, pushing it over. Beautiful piece of interplay by Pettigrew. That's not a bad ball either. Swept away by Aiken. He did the right thing. Good play by uh, Willie Pettigrew. First real threat they proved that Morton have had because it was done at speed. There's a fighting corner. Robertson, Dougie Robertson, ex-Rangers player, who we saw playing very well for Morton the last time we were here, clinching the championship. McGray. Back 
seconds there. Well, he had one look at what was in front of him and couldn't make up his mind what to do. They just shoved it out of play. McDermott. Ollie McDermott, who played brilliantly. I think, it, in fact, he was a man of the match when we were last year. Well, they fell agree. Doherty. Robertson. Just to the side, Sullivan can't get within shooting range. McCannon goes in for it. Just hesitates slightly. Referee helping Morton, I think, inadvertently. And the fight for the ball produces nothing other than a throw-in. Tackling has been hard, and Danny McGrain took a bit out of the cap looks up there. Reeds, no fall off by any Morton player. What a McLeod. As I said the pitch is holding off extremely well. In years gone by, this game would have been unplayable. Oh, beautiful body swell. And Johnson. And he just ghosted his way past the players there. But stay on a very, very dull day. A little glint of class shining through it all. 15 minutes of the first half left. There's Duffy. Tries to chip it. And does, in fact, rather well. Yes. Did come off the bottom for Gillespie. Johnson lying very deep. Johnson hasn't had much service in the past ten minutes, so he's he's going on safari to see what he could pick up. But Danny McGrain thought that was going on, in fact, and there's Don Sullivan tries to lay it to the side and picked up by McAdam and away goes Proven and he has a little breathing space now he can't get into flow and he does and this could be dangerous for Morton yes oh. McGarvey missed it I thought it was away now the flag well. it really is astonishing that this I thought he had the whole goal gaping and he suddenly got in the bank. I think he lashed out at it too soon. Slightest little nudge would have put it over, so it's still 1 0. Brilliant move by Grant. Now, Proven. Grant going on the outside. Not such a good ball to give him on that. It was a free kick in any case. Oh, well, I thought it was. Ref read it. It's a throw. Here's problem. Johnson was at the back and there is Reed and he'll settle for the throw in. With about nine minutes of the first half left. Well, peculiar slip there by McGarvey. Robertson going in, that must be a goal, it is. One each. A great equaliser there by Bob, right out of the blue. And as the running was made by Robertson, getting in behind that Celtic defence, and were looking away across to the linesman for offside, it didn't come, and he slid it in for Gillespie to push it over. And there is an equaliser with about eight minutes of the first half remaining. Problem, Sully, stopped to retaliation and that was Frank McGarvey. Good ball. 
ball by Doherty. Pettigrew. That was touched away well by Aiken. Stay, and it's a little bit hard for Johnston. And there's no question, but since that goal was scored in the 36th minute, that uh, Celtic have not looked the assured team to wear long before then. Problem. Way to the side, and Reed can't get there. touch it is so tight in that penalty area Johnson I think he got a touch well what are tightening up considerably in defense oh, Johnson a beautiful ball Mugabe superb save now Mugabe again and it's a corner kick and that was great play by Johnson that's a, a facet of them we haven't seen so far. The creator of chances, and that's exactly what he did. The deftness of passes, but it was good goalkeeping that thwarted Celtic. McDermott, fully stretched. A little bit fortunate, nobody behind him there for Celtic. Tom Sullivan. Time to bring it down, trying to pick his spot. Robinson, there's a good overlap, Doherty, an inviting ball and Bonner, looking very confident today. It's the kind of day that goalkeepers really hate, there's wind, there's strong rain, there's a greasy ball, but somehow or other he's looked very good and confident. There goes the whistle, well what a strange thing, I mean, we say it repeatedly about football, it's, uh, it's so many times very, very predictable, and then suddenly the transformation, Celtic well in front in terms of uh, possession and territory after that excellent snatch goal by Johnson, and then suddenly right out of the blue, Morton fighting back, a chance left by that uh, rather flat-looking Celtic defence, and the equaliser slid home by Gillespie. The rain may be lashing down, but Morton, I think, are taking a slightly more optimistic view of the next 45 minutes.